Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius for October 2019. This is going to be a what you're not expecting to happen kind of forecast reading. It's kind of to give you a heads up of the energies you may encounter this month. Excuse me. <laughs> but if you're interested, uh, definitely make sure you stay tuned. Also, if you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to my video and checking me out. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. This is a general message. So everything I say may or may not pertain to you specifically. So please make sure when you're watching this that you're taking everything as a may or may not. And if you are someone who is needing more of a personal reading or personal guidance, please make sure you check out my information listed below in the description as well as the comment section, okay? So let's get into it. What is going on with my Sagittarius for October 2019? What are they not expecting to happen that may actually take place in October 2019 for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius? What's going on, my Sagittarius? For October. Okay, interesting month. Um, I'm gonna pull one of these cards as well. Give me a card for my Sagittarius for October 2019. What is the message that they need to hear in the month of October 2019 that they may not fully understand that they need right now, but it's gonna be important. Okay. So before we get into the actual spread, we're going to go ahead and actually read your message from your spirit guides, and then we'll actually talk about the month ahead of you, okay? So it says, Dearest you, we bet you must be so exhausted some days, giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted, like an empty well. If it feels as if there's no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, Buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden. Make time for self-care, not more work on yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded to do some more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past, but is essential for your well-being now. No. Say it with us. No, thank you. No, I can't. You don't have to explain. Just say no, gently but firmly, then go for a soak. Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished, and ready for more adventure. Okay? So in the month of October, the most important message that a lot of my Sagittarius need to grasp is that overworking yourself isn't going to fix your problems. Like for some of you... I'm getting a sense of you being like this type of person where you work yourself to death to not deal with reality or to deal with the actual issues that may be at home. That's not the case for everybody, but for some of you, that is the case where it's like you're overworking yourself or even just being exhausted by other people's issues and, you know, making it your own issue when it's not, that's not what you need to do, especially if you know that people are just draining you and draining you and draining you. There's a need for you to build proper boundaries with the relationships that you hold with people as well as taking time for yourself because you can't give to others when you don't emotionally and physically have much to offer or let me not say much to offer but you don't have much to give because you're giving so so much out if that makes sense so if you don't have the energy to deal with people's mess this month, then you just don't have the energy or the time for it. And there's no need for you to explain. Just understand that, look, it's not, it's not your job to be, you know, constantly there for other people who aren't constantly there for you as well. Okay. Now that's just that. But going into the actual spread here, what you guys are not expecting to happen, bottom of the deck, this makes me feel really good um, to begin with. Um, with the King of Wands, regardless of what happens this month, you guys will be able to full-fledged, or let me not say full-fledged, it will come full circle. Everything that happens this month will come full circle because what will happen is things that may happen this month will put you in a space of realizing who you are and exactly your stance and how to empower yourself and how to be a better person in general when it comes to showing up in your own 
life in general okay and when I say show up in your own life this is like showing up for yourself by realizing where you are allowing again toxic energy to drain you whether that's relationships that aren't going nowhere um you know things of that sort there, there's gonna be like this soul this deep soul realization of like what you need to grow as a person and what has been keeping you from doing so okay now the first row we have here is the ace of cups in reverse the five of wands and the chariot in reverse here okay now with this i feel like emotionally a lot of you will be in a weird space beginning the month because of the fact that there may be a level of conflict with you guys figuring out how to move forward here for some of you guys this is like internal conflict where it's like i don't know what i should do i don't know which direction to go in for some of you it's like on a creative level like i don't know what i creatively want to do moving forward you could have had like your there could have been an opportunity, right? There could have been an opportunity that had a chance to really flourish and flourish and grow. But for some of you guys, like there could have been issues in that opportunity, whether that's like a job and then you have issues with people at the job or for some of you guys, you even being internally conflicted about whether or not you could do it. Others of you, this is like, again, there's something that you guys are going to be conflicted about coming into this month when it comes to, again, how you can move forward in a career sense, how you could also move forward from a love situation that's not flourishing like that anymore, okay? Especially if this is somebody who you did care about and you're mentally stuck on this person, you know you can't go back to that, especially if there's other people attached. And for a lot of you, it's really making you feel some sort of way, knowing that you can't go back to a situation here that's not good for you to begin with. But the universe is saying um, you really need to take control of your situation and realize what's worth the effort and what's not, okay? Now, another thing I am seeing, what you're not expected to happen, I do have the Three of Wands in reverse, the Judgment card in reverse, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So right off the bat, I'm getting a huge sense of, again, there's a situation for some of you guys, either you want to go back to, some of you want to go back to, others of you, you may not want to go back to it. You may have somebody who wants to come back to you, but you're not allowing that to happen. But what I'm seeing is the universe is going to be blocking some sort of reconciliation opportunity with somebody who randomly keeps coming out of your life anyways coming in and out of your life anyways and for a lot of you you may feel some sort of way about that at first but it's for your own good because the universe is just like this is not going anywhere yeah the devil look two of cups in reverse the ten of swords and the devil card literally flew out as i said that the the universe knows it's not going anywhere this is not for some of you and this is for some of you who's watching this thinking that you were dealing with like a soulmate or like you were not dealing with that okay this is not the relationship that is like designed to go to the next level this is a relationship to help you realize where you're still tied to some shadow or some lower self behavior okay for some of you guys you could have been dealing with a partner who was operating out of their lower self and there's a need for you to kind of realize that but yeah there's some sort of reconciliation that's just not going to happen because the universe is not letting it happen because you've already gone through a really rough cycle with this toxic relationship this toxic situation and it's just not something that you can continuously keep going back to and thinking that it's just going to change okay um if it's not a relationship for others of you again this is you some of you this month, you're going to have to make a decision again about what's what's next for you, what's next, especially creatively. And you're going to have to be smart. You're going to have to be strategic because with the Knight of Swords in reverse, the universe is saying that you can't rush into this decision. You can't rush and make decisions this month because it's going to come back and backfire. Okay, it's definitely going to come back and backfire if you rush into anything. You need to be clear on your decision making, especially if this is any business movements, because it will debilitate you in the future if you're not being smart on your movements, especially financially. Now, um, another thing here is we have the five of coins in reverse, the page of coins, and the three of swords in reverse. Now, with the three of swords being in reverse, this makes me happy. This lets me know, like I said, any disappointments that may happen this month, you will recover from them. And if this is not disappointments that take place this month, this is disappointments from 
really just this whole entire year. I'm be honest with you. This is like things that haven't worked out where you've had high hopes for it, but it's like it fell through the cracks. This is you finally being able to come out of that space. Um, especially for some of you guys, even like any sort of financial, um, hardships as well. But the thing is, like I said, if you want more for yourself, you're going to have to go after and get it for yourself because internally you guys know you want more finances, you know, you want more opportunities, but what are you going to do to get that? So this month you are, like I said, it's really going to be one of those things where you guys are going to have to really make up your mind what's going to make you happy and what's going to help you grow as a person. And for some of you guys as well, there may be even a moment where you have to think about your relationship possibly with your mother or the person you may have kids with if you are like a mother yourself. But I'm definitely seeing that there's family that's coming into question. Really and truly everything's coming into question this month so that you guys can realign yourself. And it's not like a bad questioning type of thing. It's more of like, what's next for me? What's next for me? But what I will say is it will come to you through sitting back. Kind of like what the first card was saying. Sitting back, allowing things to unfold, and also realizing as you're sitting back. Not sitting back, just, you know, whatever. But looking at your situation from a new pair of eyes instead of just seeing it from your point of view. The point of view that you want to see it from, if that makes sense. Okay? Okay. So that's pretty much it. That's what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. I hope that I was able to give you some sort of guidance or clarity for what to expect for this month. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And again, if you do want that personal reading or if you want to check out my Pick a Card channel, that information will be listed below. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an awesome month.